up everybody welcome to another edition of how to pass the math fsa it's the fifth grade edition today here's our standard it is maths.5.mbt.1.1 lesson four today and we are working on place value um, before we get started i just want to point out this little handy dandy chart um, and you see the decimal point right in the middle we have the ones, tens, hundreds place, and of course, in fifth grade, we go further than that. But I'm just leaving it up there for you. And we've got the tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Get a little lispy when you get in the decimals. Um, and what we are working on today is that for each jump in place value, we multiply times ten, ten times. And when we're going backwards, when we're going from one place value to the right, we're multiplying by one-tenth. Um, so this would be times 10, times 100, times 1,000, times one-tenth, times one-hundredth, times one-thousandth. So let's get going, shall we? And let me teach ya. All right, everybody, here we are with example number one. It says, what is the missing value in the equation shown. We have an unknown number times one-tenth equals 0 0.49, but that's not the way that we say it in fifth grade. Oh no, we say it as 49 hundredths. So let's me write this number. Okay, so we have 49 hundredths. And as you can see, we had a number and we multiplied it by one-tenth. Because we multiplied it by one-tenth, it means our decimal point is going to the right. So we're taking our decimal point here. Let's make it go one time to the right, and now it should be right there. So 4.9 times one-tenth equals 0 0.49 or 49 hundredths. We put that into our equation editor, and that will be, let me get my other marker, that will be... 4 and 9 tenths. To use the equation editor tool, we would go 4 decimal point, 9, done! Example number 2, how many times greater is the value of 5 and 6 tenths than the value of 56,000? So we have the same digits going on, it's just we're changing the place values of them. So we're going from five and six tenths, and we're making this number smaller. So how many times smaller? Let's see. It looks like we go one. We need another zero, so two place value jumps. And that looks like our 56 thousandths that we need. So because of that, it is times 10 times 10, and 10 times 10 is times 100. So how many times greater is 5 and 6 tenths? It's 100 times greater. So in my equation editor tool, I would put 1, 0, 0. Example 3, example 3, example 3, example 3. Oh, what is the value of the missing number in the following equation? So we have 76 hundredths. And we need to get it to 760. So our goal is to get this number to 760. That means we got to move the decimal point. So let's do that, okay? So this would be seven and six tenths. This would be 76. And then one more would give us 760. We moved it times 10. We moved it times 10, times 10. And 10 times 10 times 10 is one thousand times as big as great so our answer d d d d d d d we are already on example four homies which statement about the values twelve hundredths and one and two tenths are true this is a multi-select answer and the way that i know that is it says which statements which statements? And also, because you guys are on the computer this year, you will get these little checky boxes. And when that happens, you know it's a multi-select problem, which means that you probably need to select more than one answer. And here's a tip. In order to get the answer, in order to get this problem correct, 
you have to mark all the correct answers. So if you forget one, it's wrong. You need to get it right. All right. So we have, ooh, not that one yet. 0 0.12 or is 12 hundredths and we have 1.2 well it looks like this number is times this number times 10 would give us 1.2 so we see that this number is 10 times less or 1 tenth of 1.2 so here we go. 12 hundredths is one tenth of 1.2. Yes, it is one decimal point away. It is smaller, so it is one tenth. It is not one hundredth of the number, so we can eliminate that one. 12 tenths is 10 times less than 1.2. Yes, 12 tenths is definitely less than one and two tenths. And 12 tenths is 100 times less? Nope. 12 tenths is 100 times more than 1 and 2 tenths? Nope. So our only two answer choices would be the first and the third one. Our last one has arrived. How many times greater is the value of 19 than the value of 19 thousandths? Explain your thinking. All right, so we have 19. We need to get this number to 19 thousandths. That way we know how many times greater it is. So our decimal point is invisible. But if you are an all-star fifth grader, which you are, you know that the decimal point is actually right here, okay? And we're trying to make it get over here. So that would be one and nine tenths. This would be 19 hundredths. And one more, put a zero right there, looks a lot like 19 thousandths. So we had to go times 10 times 10 times 10. So 19 is 1,000 times greater than 19 thousandths. So how do we write this answer into our open response box? Well, I will show you as soon as I can find the correct marker. Here we go. Okay. 19, I need to make sure, well, I was going to say I need to make sure that I stay within the perimeter of the box. Um, but for you guys, it's, this will be a typing one. So make sure you get your typing skills going with your capital letters and your periods. You can't really go outside of the box on the computer because it won't let you. But um, you need to get pretty fast. However, I'm writing today. So 19 is 1,000 times greater than 19 thousandths, period. I know this because I had to shift the decimal three places to the er, left of 19 to get 19 thousandths. That is all, folks. That is all, except for our motivational message coming to you now. All right, everybody, it's motivational message time from yours truly. Today's motivational message for you is stop wishing and start doing. What does this mean? Stop wishing. I wish that I could get all A's on my report card and start doing the things that are going to get you all the A's on your report cards like studying. You can't just wish for it, you have to do things that will make it happen. Stop wishing that you had enough money to buy a new video game system and start doing things that will get you that new motivate that new, sorry, video game system. 
like mowing lawns, like babysitting, like, I don't know, ask your parents, say, what can I do around the house to earn an extra income? I don't know. But start, with, stop wishing and start doing. Wishing means nothing. Wish for five seconds and then start doing the things that it's gonna take to make your dreams come true.